welcome back to yet another video series provided by the itvideos.com and I welcome you to my channel and here in this video you will be learning how we can install Drupal on our website or well, Drupal is basically a CMS that is content management system which is written in PHP and what PHP exactly is you can see my other videos where I have shown how we can install and how we can run PHP web pages well, let's get back to this video where I'll be talking about Drupal. So let's quickly go to the uh, Firefox and here let's go to, to the Drupal website so that we can install Drupal from scratch and I'll be showing you how it is done step by step. So this is the Drupal homepage and it has got wealth of information. Anything you need, you want to be part of the Drupal community, you want to contribute, you want to uh, get your questions answered. It's all here. So what we'll do is that we'll, we just need to first install Drupal on our local host. And uh, by the way, I'm running WAN. And if you're running MAN or uh, LAN, uh, the procedure is almost similar. So let's quickly go to the download menu here. And uh, the one that is available right now is version 619. That is the version that they have. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm just going to download the Drupal version 619, the previous version being 5.23. I'm going to install Drupal version 6.19. So I can just uh, download or save it on my hard disk. Well, I don't have to do that. You can go ahead and do that because I've already saved it on my, on my computer here. So now that we have saved this one here, uh, before you extract or do something with that, first you need to uh, go to the PHP My Admin and just create a database by the name Drupal. Just do that and uh, you don't have to create the tables uh, right now, just create a new database by the name Drupal and uh, it gives us a message saying that the database by the name Drupal has been created. So. Now the database has been created, we have downloaded the installation file onto our hard disk. In my next video I'm going to be talking about how we can copy all this into our local host and make it up and running. So thanks for watching this video, see you in the next edition of this video. Have yourself a good day.